The flood of sexual harassment allegations has now reached the program Morning Joe. MSNBC suspended one of its top contributors, Mark Halperin, the co-author of Game Change, over accusations first reported by CNN from five women all unnamed when he worked at ABC News a decade ago. They say Halperin kept propositioning him for sex or engaged in unwanted kissing and groping. Now more women are going on the record, one telling The Washington Post that Halperin kept pushing her to sit on his lap, all this prompting an abject apology from Halperin. Our hearts break for Mark and his family because he is our friend. But we fully support NBC's decision here. We want to know more about these disturbing allegations. We want to hear the stories. We need to know what happened. And we're not going to avoid the story just because he is our friend. Meanwhile, the latest New York Times story on Bill O'Reilly having had his Fox contract renewed after privately settling a $32 million sexual harassment case with former Fox analyst Lise Wheel, which we reported on last week, has also drawn widespread attention. And more than 50 women have now accused Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault or harassment, with another actress saying he raped her and Ashley Judd going on camera. I was sitting on the bed talking to Harvey when he pushed me back and forced himself onto me. I fought with this volley of no's, which he ignored. Who knows, maybe he heard them as maybe, maybe he heard them as yeses, maybe they turned him on. Joining us now from New York is Lynn Scher, who spent three decades as a correspondent for ABC News and was the network's first sexual harassment ombuds person. And Lynn, with these mounting allegations against Mark Halperin, uh, MSNBC, as I mentioned, has suspended him. Penguin Press has canceled the book Game Change, the next edition of it. Uh, HBO has canceled the movie that was going to be based on the book. Showtime has dropped Halperin from the circus show. Does all this tell us how much the culture has changed or is changing? I think it is changing in a way, but keep in mind that the um, sexual harassment as a criminal thing has only been around for a little bit less than 40 years. I, when I did my first story for ABC News, it was 1979. I actually looked it up and I think that uh, Mark Halperin may have been in high school at the time. Um, we've known about this for a long time, but the point is that um, it, it's changed uh, in some ways, but the truth is we are talking in many of these cases about a range that goes from sexual abuse and sexual violence um, and assault all the way down to things that only men wearing dirty raincoats were doing. Right. Um, one of my colleagues at ABC had a great line. He said, um, sexual harassment is just a dignified term for disgusting behavior. Well, that's an important distinction you make. Let me bring you back to Halpern, who has put out an apology, a second apology. He says he feels profound guilt and responsibility for actions that he describes as crude, aggressive, selfish, and wrong. He said he realized he had a problem, that after leaving ABC, he went to counseling, and he hasn't repeated the misconduct. But several other journalists say Halpern's conduct was an open secret at ABC. You worked at ABC. Was that true? Uh, I, I was not there at the period when these allegations are, are uh, uh, around that time. And don't forget, I was in a different situation. Um, I was uh, uh, older than Mark, um, probably more famous than he was at the time. And sexual harassment is always an older person, usually a guy, with a younger, weaker person. Uh, you didn't see any charges of sexual harassment against Bill O'Reilly from Barbara Walters. It doesn't work that way. Right. It's always somebody underneath them. Right. So um, my understanding now, having spoken to a lot of, of ABC people, is that these rumors were around, the facts were around, and people did know about it. But Howie, you know as well as I do, why do women not report these things? Because they're afraid, because they want a future, because also they think they're to blame. They somehow believe falsely that they are the reason why it happened, which of course is not true. Right. Well, it was painful to watch Mika Brzezinski say that she and Joe Scarborough support the suspension of their friend Mark Halperin. We uh, face similar questions at Fox, first Roger Ailes, then Bill O'Reilly. Um, and, you know, now they're friends of Leon, Leon Wieseltier. He is the former literary editor at the New Republic, uh, now reports from ex-colleagues that he harassed so many women with unwanted kisses and crude talk that he was fired from a new magazine that he was going to launch. But since you mentioned that, I mean, did you uh, ever experience this as a younger journalist? And how did you react? You know, I never, I, I've been racking my own brain, as, as all of us have been, and I never experienced it in terms of pay for play, in that you won't keep your job if you don't do this. Was I propositioned? Absolutely. Uh, one time I turned in a script um, around the rim, you know, the U-shaped desk for, for mm -hmm. the evening news, 
And the executive producer actually said to me, why don't you take off your clothes and come into my office and we'll discuss this. I said nothing. He <sighs> laughed. I just shoved it off. I mean, what are you going to do? Right. I've spent enough, back when I was at the Associated Press, I spent an entire lunch in a business lunch where Nelson Rockefeller, the governor of New York, had his hand on my leg. And you didn't say anything to anyone about it? I said about nothing. Yeah. I was embarrassed. I was young. Sure. I didn't know what to say or do. And that's what we're dealing with. What right. we're seeing now, because of the strong women who have been brave enough to come out and talk about Roger Rails, Bill O'Reilly, Mark Halperin, Harvey Weinstein, um, uh, the, and Bill Cosby, because of them, there is safety in numbers. We're seeing a little bit of sisterhood is powerful. Right. And I think uh, the coverage, let me just jump in. I think the coverage may be giving some women a feeling that they can speak out without being penalized, although it's still a hard decision. So there's a new Ronan Farrow piece in The New Yorker, uh, again on Harvey Weinstein. Daryl Hannah says he sexually harassed her. Right. Annabella Shora, who was in The Sopranos, says Weinstein brutally raped her in his apartment. She slept with a baseball bat for 20 years, and Weinstein's denying all of these physical allegations. And it's getting hard to keep track. I mean, it's Weinstein. It's uh, the resignation of Amazon Studios chief Roy Price, celebrity chef John Besh, uh, 38 women in the LA Times accusing director James Toback. Um, do you think the media coverage is making uh, it easier for women to speak out? I really do. And it's funny, on the way over here this morning, I was reading, I was on Twitter, and somebody has posted, um, I'm doing a piece, I forget for which publication, about um, sexual uh, har harassment on Wall Street and among big law firms. And so reporters are seeking stories. There's going to be much more of this. Um, we're now in the me generation, stories that used to be too private to tell, uh, too intimate to share with the public. Suddenly we're in a period where uh, privacy is gone. So I think we will hear a lot more about this. But could I just say, every story I did about sexual harassment over the years, when there were settlements, I've just reviewed a lot of them, somebody always says in it, we hope this jury a verdict will send a signal, right. this kind of behavior will never be tolerated. That was 1983, 1992. Right. We've had a lot of signals, a lot of crashes. Right. I'm hoping now we'll get some rules and some laws followed. Let me just briefly ask you about George H.W. Bush. Four women have now said that the former president was in a wheelchair, you know, patted their bottoms and made a dirty joke. Um, it's, it's, I'm not going to defend it. It obviously made these women uncomfortable, but your point about lumping everyone together, you know, your thoughts on the Bush situation? I, uh, I don't find horny old geezers cute. You know, that's a good soundbite to end on. Uh, I think probably a lot of people might agree with that. Lynn Scherer, thanks very much for stopping by this Sunday. We do appreciate it. Thanks, Howie.